Starships Company, a very warm welcome on board the Ruby Princess. And I do hope your journey to join the ship today has gone smoothly and without problems. And now that you're on board, I do hope you're settling in comfortably. I'd also like to welcome back our most valued Captain Circle members. Before we run through the main safety briefing, there are a few things I'd like to bring to your attention. And as you may be aware, the United States Centers for Disease Control has recently issued an upgraded travel health notice for Zika virus, which is spreading through many countries. And the health notice advises all travelers to practice enhanced precautions when visiting affected countries. And most importantly, the CDC travel health advisory particularly impacts women who are pregnant and women who are trying to become pregnant. And on this voyage, I'd like to bring to your attention that Ruby Princess will be calling into Mexico, which is currently on the list of affected countries. Zika virus is spread by infected mosquitoes that bite during the daytime, so please remember that you can reduce your risk of contracting Zika and other illnesses such as dengue by following these steps prior to going ashore. Apply insect repellent, which can be purchased from the shops on board. Wear a loose, long-sleeved shirt and long pants to minimize the risk of being bitten. The Zika virus health advisory in your stateroom contains further information on the virus and measures you can take to reduce the risk of being bitten by mosquitoes. And if you would like additional information on Zika virus, including its importance to pregnancy, please visit the front desk. And additionally, with regards to health and hygiene, at this time of year there are some cases of gastroenteritis and influenza. And on board ship it is essential that everyone maintains the highest standards of personal hygiene. Please ensure you wash your hands frequently, particularly after using the toilets and before eating or drinking. Sanitizing gel is also available outside the various food outlets and I request you use this in addition to washing your hands. And if you feel unwell due to vomiting or diarrhea, please remain in or return directly to your stateroom and contact the medical department by dialing 6000 or in an emergency 911. And I would ask that you please read the health advisory notice placed in your stateroom and thank you for your cooperation to ensure we all have a healthy and enjoyable cruise. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, on behalf of Princess Cruises and the entire ship's company, welcome aboard Ruby Princess, and we hope that you have a fantastic cruise with us. And shortly, we'll start the main safety briefing, and I would ask for your utmost attention, even if you've cruised before. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. May I have your attention, please? Well, on behalf of all of us at Princess Cruises, I would like to welcome you on board the Ruby Princess. We thank you for choosing to spend your vacation with us, and we look forward to providing you with a memorable experience. We can appreciate that you're eager to begin relaxing and enjoying the ship, but because your safety is our highest priority, before we set sail today, we need to share some important safety information with you. Even if you've attended to safety trips on previous cruises, we request your full attention so that this information is fresh in your mind. The signal that you have just heard is the general emergency alarm, which consists of seven short blasts followed by one long blast on the ship's whistle and alarms. This is the only signal that requires you to take action in an emergency and is used to call you to your master station. A master station is an area of safety where guests assemble in an emergency. The general emergency alarm is not a signal to abandon the ship. If you should hear this signal at any time, including when the ship is in port, without having been warned that drills are taking place, you should proceed to your state room, collect your life jackets, warm clothing, a head covering, and any medication that you normally use, then carry your life jacket go to your master station. As a reminder, this station is indicated on the safety notice on the back of your stateroom door. 
The muster stations on Ruby Princess are located on deck numbers 6 and 7. Guides will be positioned on the stairways to direct and assist you. If for any reason you are prevented from returning to your stateroom, you should go directly to your muster station. Once there, a life jacket will be obtained for you by a crew member. When you arrive at your muster station, you will be accounted for using our electronic mustering system. To speed up this process and let us determine that you are all safe, please ensure you bring your cruise card with you. Once inside your muster station, you should wait quietly for the instructions and information that will be broadcast over the public address system or given to you by the officer in charge of the room. Do not put on your life jacket until instructed to do so. In the unlikely event that it is necessary to abandon the ship, an order will be given verbally from the bridge. The staff in your muster station will then divide you into groups and take you to the survival craft. In an emergency, it is possible that the incident may last for some time. It is therefore our practice to muster guests away from the elements in one of the lounges. Only if it is necessary to abandon the ship will you be taken to embark in the lifeboats and life rafts, marine evacuation system. While most guests are assigned to evacuate in lifeboats, you could be assigned to evacuate in a special marine evacuation system. In this case, you will be taken to the designated embarkation areas where you will descend a specially designed chute to the life rafts that will already be waiting in the water. Members of the ship's company will now indicate the exits from your master station to the survival craft. In the event it is necessary to abandon the ship, designated door checkers at each of these doors will direct the correct number of people to each of the survival craft. You would follow the guides who would lead you to your lifeboat or life raft. In the event of a fire and a drills, your route may be blocked by fireproof doors. Although they are heavy, these doors may be opened by hand and will close automatically behind you. There are alternative exits from every guest area and you should take a few moments to thoroughly familiarise yourself with the area surrounding your state room. In the event of an emergency, a low-level guidance system is available. If the visibility in your area is reduced so that you cannot see the normal exit signs, no. you should keep close to the floor and crawl if necessary. Follow the lightest strip and it will lead you to an exit. It is important that you do not use the elevators in an emergency as you may become trapped in the event of a power failure. If you have mobility difficulties and feel that you may need assistance in an emergency, we have people specially allocated to the task of looking after you. Let your state room steward and the passenger services desk know today in order that special arrangements can be made. Should you smell smoke or discover a fire, press one of the red fire alarm buttons situated around the ship. This warns the bridge so that immediate action can be taken. Please note that you will not hear the alarm bell sound when you press the fire alarm. If you should see anyone fall over the side, you should throw a life buoy or anything else that might float over the side, shout man overboard and inform the nearest crew member. There are areas that are marked for crew only. Please do not enter these areas, even if you are invited to by a crew member. Never sit on the ship's side rails, including those on stable balconies, or allow children to do so, even when holding them. Princess Cruises is committed to the protection of the environment, so please do not throw anything over the side of the ship. This includes matches and cigarettes, which can be drawn back into the ship, lie undetected, and could cause a serious fire. Never leave burning smoking materials unattended, and please use the receptacles and ashtrays placed around the ship's side rails in designated smoking areas for disposal. Please remember that smoking is no longer permitted in state rooms and on state room balconies. Your state rooms are provided with audible alarms using the telephone, buzzer or combination of both. If a fire is detected in or near your state room, the telephone will ring and the buzzer may sound to alert you. 
Please follow any instructions which may be given over the telephone. We also remind you never to use lighted candles, lanterns, or any other non naked flames in your state room, bathrooms, or balconies, as these can be easily knocked or blown over and cause a fire. Further information can be found on this and other safety related subjects in the safety section of your state room portfolio. If you would like more information about our emergency procedures, please refer to the portfolio in your state room or ask the passenger services desk for a copy of our emergency procedures information sheet. We believe it is important for you to practice wearing your life jacket. Please do not put your life jacket on at this time. Once again, please do not put your life jacket on at this time, but just watch while a member of the ship's company demonstrates the correct wearing of the life jacket. You will have an opportunity to practice wearing your life jacket right after this demonstration. Take the life jacket in both hands and place it over your head with the large section at the front. Connect the Velcro strips. Pass the belt around your waist and connect the buckle by pushing the two palms firmly together. Pull the belt as tight as possible while holding on to that right hand pad. Now you'll note that there is a light on your life jacket and this will activate automatically if you have to enter the water. There is also a whistle for attracting attention in a pocket on the side. It must be stressed that you should only take the water as a last resort. If this becomes necessary, you should use the method now demonstrated by a crew member at your master station. Using one hand, pinch your nose between your thumb and forefinger and place the palm over your mouth. Bring your other arm across and tightly grip the side or shoulder of the life jacket to stop it riding up as you enter the water. Check that there is nothing in the water below you, look straight ahead and step off. Do not jump. Special life jackets are available for children and infants weighing less than 70 pounds, 32 kilos. And if this has not yet been provided, please ask your safe room steward. On completion of today's instruction, please return your life jacket to your safe room. To avoid tripping yourself or others, please ensure that the life jacket straps do not trail on the deck. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you kindly once again for your attention. To conclude our safety drill, may we invite you now to please stand and put on your life jacket. Members of the ship's company are in attendance to assist you.